If Bro, I had to, I wanted to revisit some of this, that, that, was, that was good. That was really good. That's I really love good the flow as well, play, man. Yeah. The flow sounds great. He's I like think gliding on the beat. I think early days, right? Mm-hmm. But I think that's one of the cleanest rapping I've heard so far in K-pop. Yeah, I think you're completely right. Like in right. terms of just being really clear with your words and like the flow mm-hmm. and making it work, even if you if we can't understand it, it I can hear it, it rhyming. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really smooth. All right, bro. Listen to this. So we're back again with some more BTS. <laughs> You're right. I just remembered your <laughs> laughing fit. So we're doing RM Wildflower, yeah. which is uh, something that was released this year. Um, and so this is the last solo. BTS member I think that we haven't done. I think we've done all of them. Uh, no, we haven't done um, uh, the one who did a feature with J Cole. J Hope. But uh, I would almost. Uh, I, I guess. Yeah. I guess you're right. We no, haven't no, actually no, done right because no. the J Cole video we never recorded. We listened to that no, before no, no, no. we started. The so channel. I would say we didn't have to do that yeah, still. Right. But yeah, this right. is Good RM, way. which we haven't done before as a solo, and we're just cracking up at the feature, which is uh, Eugene, Eugene. <laughs> which is Y O U J E E N. So I was laughing because it's normally spelled E like U G E N E, and I was laughing because it's uh, Mr. Crab's name in SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so random man and bro and you're dying <laughs> Eugene Crab I don't know why that's stuck to me. I don't know if that's from the movie this one your movie or not but anyway no I remember important. it I remember it from early days from it's Spotify. not important um, everyone has smashed it so far so yeah. pressure's on I'm not gonna lie yeah um, but from the songs we have listened to of BTS he's always stood out in terms of the rapping like I think that's his and apparently his RM stands for rap on song I think well I, I said that so don't yeah, apparently yeah. me because I could be wrong okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, let's get into it and let's see if it's any good <clears throat> well I feel like we should need we need an intro like that like that dun, 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 like. yeah and, yeah it might be nice let's steal it and so you just clap. Whoa. I I'm took sorry. that person. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what flowers like fireworks? It's very like noisy because of the fireworks. No name, that's what I have. No shame, I'm on my grave. Not in your grave. Uh, I think that's just translation. I'm not sure. But I think you're right with the flower thing. Being like a um, flower. Wow, Bro, I to need to revisit some of this. That, that, was, that was good. That was really good. That's I really love good. the flow as well, okay, man. Yeah. The flow sounds great. He's I like gliding was, on the beat. I think early days, right? Mm-hmm. But I think that's one of the cleanest rapping I've heard so far in K-pop. Yeah, I think you're completely right. Like in terms right. of just being really clear with your words and like the flow mm-hmm. and making it work, even if you if we can't understand it, it I can hear it, it rhyming. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really smooth. Um, I would say, uh, can't throw sh- sh- the starting was a bit noisy though. Yeah, I didn't like the start yeah, with the fireworks. Me neither. But now that that's gone and the beat came in, he came on that smooth. Yeah. But two people that have stood out to me from all the people that we've listened to, Augusti Sugar, he uh, he's smashing it. I really like him. So far, he's the one to beat, in my mm-hmm. opinion. And that one verse we heard from Tiger JK Tiger on JK, Top yeah. Line. Yeah, that was nice. That was so smooth as well. Mm. But yeah, there's a really good stuff. I love when the beat comes in. Wow, 
제발 거둬가소서 어떤 일이 있어 오늘의 나로 하게 하소서 Whatever happens, let me be myself. myself yeah. And don't let this fame become Chain, shackles. And don't let it change me. So many That's people talk so about true, fame as shackles, right? Yeah, man. So many like yep. artists talk about because it, it takes over your life. You it can't does. do anything normally. But there are some like exceptions, like you have with um, Reno Keeves, where he's just Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> did he do a fusion dance with Rihanna or something? I was like, <laughs> But um, like they're just taking the train. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Transport. I so think some can make it work. We've mentioned really this hard. before. I think you have to have like respect from your fan base to know we need to give them the space. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. I think someone mentioned in the like crazy video that some there are different groups of fans, and some of them do let them be when they see them in public. It's general like an unwritten rule to like leave them alone because they need some of their privacy, etc. But how you deal with fame is changes artist by artist like when you look at j cole just showing up for protests do you remember when he just showed up for protests randomly the other day i saw a video of him and adam sandler just playing basketball what in manhattan on a random like That's basketball so court yeah. and like it depends on how you deal with it if you rock up to that basketball court with bare security bare man like pushing people away i feel yeah. like that you kind of kind of attract that like negative fame you almost like put you get attention on yourself by doing that i've seen these prank videos right mm -hmm. where people aren't really famous but they have they just hire like fake insurance and stuff like that fake bodyguard yeah oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. fake insurance like they like look like a mm -hmm. and they act like him and then add, they just add security guards around them and people think people they believe it and people are like oh yeah, my god yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah. but if you rock up on your own and you look like a cheering with like a cap on i'm sure that fine. in our lifetime like the amount of times we've been to london and how popular the place is i'm sure we must have walked past some really like famous and people yeah, yeah and uh, definitely. artists like in all sorts of like um, genres and like kind of this thing they do for sure and we would have we haven't clocked because they were just acting like a normal person, normal person. exactly they don't show up and like another thing as well especially with rappers is like they have an entourage do they have rappers? which i hate my uh our mate's shop he's a shop owner and stormzy just walked in oh yeah, yeah to yeah, buy yeah. a drink yeah he just buy on his own like he didn't yeah, come yeah, with like yeah. bear man and stuff yeah. like that so it, it depends on how you like carry yourself how you carry yourself yeah it does I wish myself a lovely <laughs> night before going to sleep. <laughs> like, you know, the rest of the person you speak to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. <laughs> I do wish myself a lovely night. <laughs> if you're liking this video and you want more Ride and Ryan, check out our Patreon. Here's a clip. She doesn't look like she's enjoying it. It seems high pressure. Seems really? really 1 pm to 10 pm, teenagers. Like, teenagers, like. Four hours of lessons and five hours of practice. Yeah, because at that in that age like this is the least like this is not on my mind like for me bro and the fact that only like selected people get like actually shortlisted to do this the, yeah, the people shocking. that make it are the best of the best if you think about it that way mm. but bro this really reminds me of basketball you know in basketball where like so many millions of people want to be basketball players in america and you hear a lot of rappers talking about it I'm trying and to make Jake it Hull first talks yeah. about it as well there's only 12 slots on the Pistons, so that's like every year. That I think they're only twelve that's from people a song. Can, from yeah. a, a, from the song Friends. So if there are, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who idolize the K-pop figures and are like, I want to be like them. But out of like the millions that idolize them, only like a hundred can make it. <laughs> Eugene. Never did I imagine that Eugene sounding like that. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. I thought it was some chap like uh, he just works in IT or something. Yeah, like yeah. It's nice though. She can sing. Magica, 
처음 뭉친 절이 나 하나 여기까지 다 이지르지 그땐 가면 운동 제법 뼈지가 내게 민우 힘도 민우 불난 아무것도 아니나 Damn, when is this mask gonna come off? Why yeah. is he wearing a mask though? Like, what's this mask? Do you think it's like it's a fun. public facade or like a way you have to act? Public figure kind of thing. Yeah, because you have to act a certain way when you have this big of a following. So you have mm. to be careful. You yeah. can't make those like silly jokes you'd make with your boys. Like even us, when we make I some of the even jokes. we have to take a pinch of salt. Like, uh, yeah. We have to be yeah, careful totally. sometimes yeah, where yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah. okay, we can't say certain things because like, there might be some people watching their kids and like all of this kind of stuff. Mm. So imagine for people like this who have like millions of followers. It's worldwide. Really hard, really like hard, you yeah. have to be the specific version, yeah. like public facing version. Mm, yeah, you do. Um, so that's that's probably what it means, right? Mm. But he also he's talking a lot about his end destination, the end goal, which is interesting because when you think about it, he probably has reached a goal that he considered his end destination, and he's probably been there for a while, which is being a successful artist and being huge and breaking all these record, records and like stuff like that where do you go from there like once you've achieved that where do you go from I, there I would say you retire yeah like just do music but when you feel like that him. man I think isn't that everyone's goal though it is yeah like, it I would is. love to just be able to retire now so I just do stuff that I enjoy I'm not forced to do it but think about his position man he's also part of BTS and like he can't make that decision for the whole group to no, just leave no. he has a, he has this everyone has to like almost agree to that yeah, exactly so true. like it's tough because it's probably like what do I do and you feel like you don't have a purpose or maybe the thing that you the drive isn't there as much as it used to be because you you know you're sleeping comfortable it's like this uh, there's a procrastination broke J. Cole it's oh, very much the same yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if I put, um, he puts a really good, um, I don't know what the term is when you compare something to another. Um, metaphor? Simile? I would say so, a metaphor, yeah. yeah. He says, like, uh, if I, like, uh, drop my bucket down into the well, will I still get the same amount of um, water or uh, out of it than I did before? And by that, he signifies the creativity and the substance in the music. Uh, because see. now he's made it as an artist and like he's known really he's really popular yeah yeah does he still have that inspiration and the drive that someone who may not have that money or inspira uh, have that luxury that he does yeah you know that he's going to be working like twice ten, as hard twice yeah, as hard, ten times ten times as hard. yeah yeah as jay Cole be now because now he's made it and goes back to what you're saying like where'd you go from here mm -hmm. um but i think it's like it's good surely you in that situation where you say oh i'm not like doing as much as i should be but then you should reward yourself. It's good, it? man. But you have to. It's good on paper, but I think in reality, there's a l feeling of being lost. Yeah. Which is kind of what the song is kind of telling me as well. Because hmm. he's like, "Where do I go? Where do I go from here?" Yeah. And he looks a bit lost. Yeah, from, yeah. Depend. Looking at the location, there's no roads or signs or anything there. Yeah, that's, you can read into that. Yeah. That was just a poor joke, by the way. Oh, was it a joke? <laughs> I thought you were being serious. That was horrible. <laughs> that was, that was a joke. You didn't even see it. You're I like, thought oh, you were like, alright, fair enough. <laughs> also, the hero villain line is actually kind of interesting. Because it's like, I think this I'm is why it's important. Poor villain. Yeah, because you can't see yourself as this like idol, I am RN, like of BTS, you know what I mean? And that's not good for your health. But then at the same time, if you look at yourself from the haters' perspective and see yourself as a villain, that's not good for your like mm. mental as, as well. So this is why I think it's really important to have, and hopefully they have this between themselves, they're all going through the same thing. It's really important to have friends who humble you. You can't have you yes men. You, you have cannot to. have yes men around you. And most people who get big, they attract these yes men so much. Yeah. Like people who just like support everything and they just big you up all the time. Yeah, yeah. But they don't like bring you back down to reality when you know, when they know and they see that you might be doing something that you shouldn't be and that's not you. Because uh, what does Cole say? He says, I'd be having to check myself, but not everyone can do that. No, not everyone can. No one's checking me, but check myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. sacrifices. But I don't, another thing I remember was Snoop Dogg mentioned this. He's like, I hang out. He's like, for my birthday parties and stuff, he's like, 100 people will show up. And these are people I consider my friends. But when I, like, really need advice, he's like, there's like six Five or seven or bro brothers I have. Who, I think ultimately, you that's can't have you more need. than that. Yeah, it's all you need. I well. think it's actually impossible for a person to have more than 10 friends mm -hmm. that they're, like, super, super close with and they know everything. And, and if, it is, really if, you like, have, if your circle's that big, or your inner circle's that big, you probably need to reevaluate. It's not really an inner circle. Yeah, you it's probably need to reevaluate. Because, uh, yes, yeah, really I was like, to. these are normal people that I grew up with. 
we went to school together it's a lot of like they work normal jobs they've got wives like they don't Mm. just do the rapper nonsense i'll go speak to them to get a completely down-to-earth perspective yeah unfiltered opinions and and you need those people around you Mm, yeah you do here i am facing all the prejudices and mis- misunderstandings yeah. and like he was saying about like the the voices of society the ones you hear the loudest are normally like the haters or particularly on social media how the algorithms and stuff work that you always hear the haters and it always seems like the craziest people are like the loudest people on social media as well Mm. and he has to then explain to this minority like why this is like a misconception and why what they're saying is inaccurate it must be stressful it must be very stressful Damn, that's a sick line. Amongst the flowers with no names. I don't care much for being tossed in the air. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially signifying, you know, when people, uh, especially on stage, jump in the crowd and like, uh, you like crowd surf almost. Yeah, yeah, crowd surf. That's, I think, what that implies. But then he says, I'm grounded on my own two feet with the flowers. I don't need to go up to the stars. Uh, Uh, I can't can't go to the stars again. I just can't. So like, he doesn't want to be a star. To be in that situation where it's just like, surrounded by just noise in a way and like just like being a certain way i just want to be done with the i wonder if that's why the fireworks the noise in the background was the kind fireworks kind of signifying the flowers, the flowers of the sky yeah but the fields that he's in it's, it's the, the flowers, flowers of the ground so he wants to stay on the ground yeah, not yeah. be the wildflower in the sky that's insane that's very good if that that's is very the case, good i, love I think the it is because he's he's he is ultimately a, a rapper so mm. i think there is definitely underlying meanings you know you know there is yeah even making friends with shadows that would work that work yeah Pat myself on the back. There's <laughs> no one to tap it for you. <laughs> well, he says goodnight to himself. himself. <laughs> so, I thought, why can I not pat myself on the back? <laughs> oh shit. That's shit flowers. This moment here, man, it's just crazy to me. Imagine that. Imagine Imagine making it so that when you're standing there and then... Uh, what's that song? Uh, Baby, calm down. I think it's that one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rima, calm down. Rima, yeah. yeah, yeah. And where there's a video of him like on I stage. Saw that. He's performing it. And he's taking it. In. it. He's taking it in. He's, he's not singing, singing it. Yeah, the yeah. audiences, and he's just like literally standing there. Just so his it. one's like zero to a hundred there because no one knew what it was, or who he was until that. And song. this again is built up, but still, being in that moment in the stage, incredible, isn't it? I bet it but is. this is you know when he was like i'll be back there once again like he said i'll be back he's there. saying that he's, he kind of wants to be he yeah. this might be the purpose is that there's the knowing that you can just come back and go straight back to like peak version of yourself where you're back like in the limelight but maybe also wanting to not be in the limelight yeah yeah and he's happy with not being in the limelight all the time but like having that like choice mm. basically which is kind of nice maybe that is where you go once you hit the top it's like now it's a choice of when i want to do stuff and how i want to rather do than stuff. having been forced to yeah you know what's mad mm. and i just made this connection and i might be off but look at the stage and the presence with the purple lights and the um um like 
you could say these are like little flowers on the way flower yeah 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 and then watch this switch to the same purple the same purple flower. and flowers yeah, yeah, yeah. i did notice the purple and it's instead of like the audience it's just like nature and it's just flowers like being flying around with... this is the di- this yeah it is it's is literally insane. the dichotomy yeah yeah you're right this is him like in his free like just his normal day-to-day life versus him but it's the same kind of stuff. feeling he's like mm. act standing the same way where it's not like it's ah oh, that's a good point man it, like he's he's exactly he's here. Happy you need the situation yeah. yeah he's standing the same way and that. just taking it in but you know what we may never see this but i have i felt the other one i have been here yeah yeah i have too i have been here either the, when it comes to like being out where you can see all the stars or just being in a field like this and being like able to breathe the fresh air and all that. I've been just here. being happy. Yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. To this one. I know what you and mean. And it must be the it's same sick. kind of feeling. That's such. A, I love that it all came together at the end. Yeah, it's so nice. It's so such sick. a good song. Sunset. Mm-hmm. That sunset, though. That's mad, man. Bro, another what thing you just said. Is, another thing you just said here. When you not feel it like is. you're not yourself, when your feet are not on the ground, when you said that, he said that what, like quite a few times, yeah. And another thing which is really important, when dreams, um, when your dreams devour you, mm-hmm. isn't that a switch from the older albums that we're doing where they're like, like um, saying no that, more dreams? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let your dr- like don't like let, your, let other people control control your dreams. Your, and this is now chase your own when dream. dreams can actually devour you this is you. how he knows he's made it man this is how he knows he's mad, living man. he's living that dream and it was devouring him for a while but it is that whole thing of like being famous and like you're worried about not falling off yeah and like you want to stay at the top and all of that stuff but mm. it's nice that it looks like he's found some peace and i wonder if Bro, them, i love uh, the feature man yeah the feature was insane the flower work mm. uh, chorus was so good man yeah shout out to eugene but um, the name is just, the name is just funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know something about the but yeah, bit. Either way, I, I love the like concept of the whole song, yeah. and it's, it's really, a really good, good song, song. I would say. Like, yeah, there's yeah. some uh, elements. I think it was at the beginning, uh, but I think if you listen back to it, we will like it more now. Now that we've listened to the whole song, but ultimately, I would say this is a bang. really good. Song. Yeah, yeah, bang. R M. Um, smashed it smashed it like the other side yeah let us know guys like what other rm songs should we do and we also said we will do the taylor's guide at some point if any of the videos if we break that 2000 likes to get uh, barrier yeah yeah. because we want to achieve that and that's been on our like list for a while to try and like break that because we'll see a few going to like 1.5k maybe like like, our moment uh, yeah let's go (laughs) exactly exactly that would be our moment but once we hit that we'll do the one hour long like reaction to that as well so if you guys want to see that hit hit the like button on this and and the other uh bts videos but let's see what's next